Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm working on an old truck. It's a, oh, it's a 1996 Chevrolet S10 4.3. It's an old one. And sometimes I have to think about things so my memory comes back. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I'm, what I'm doing is replacing the clutch master cylinder and thought I'd share of how I do it. There's several ways to do it. Um, for one thing, on this, uh, on this, uh, oh, this hydraulic line right here that goes down there, all it does is from the clutch master cylinder, it goes down to the slave cylinder, which on this vehicle, the slave cylinder is internal in the transmission. Uh, you can take this line loose from the slave cylinder off the transmission, but I, uh, my memory's coming back to me. Uh, I have done that before, but this one I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave the line down there on there. And what I do, uh, whatever works for, for you just to make the job easier, because they can kind of be a pain to put back together. I've already took the clutch master cylinder out. Here it is right here. Here's my new one. That's my new one. I did go ahead and inst uh, here's my old one. It was leaking the hydraulic fluid out of it. That's common after age. And also on this one, the uh, I'm gonna call it a neutral safety switch. Uh, some parts houses call it a clutch switch. You know, when you push your clutch pedal down, then it gives, it lets your uh, 12 volts through this switch go down there to the starter. And this one was acting up. So I went ahead and got a brand new, uh, yeah, I still call it a neutral switch, clutch switch. I've got it installed on the arm. Now they tell you not to put your push rod in the master cylinder because of, of, of the small area trying to get all this in there. But I found it's it, there, there's enough room up in there. I took the old one out with no problem uh, up in this cavity. I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, I can't get a good image. I mean, it's kind of a tight area down in there. But anyway, okay, I, uh, what I did, okay, what I do, let me get right quick on it here. I always bench bleed them first, the master cylinders. Now these GMs are easier to bleed this master cylinder uh, than the Fords. Now the Fords, they can be tough getting the air out of the clutch master cylinder. They're different. But the GMs more easier. Uh, I have already uh, bench bled. Got all the air out of this master cylinder. All you do is fill the reservoir up now this is the way I do it. And then I'll stick my finger down here on the outlet where the fluid comes out of the port. I'll stick my finger down there and I'll push on that push rod for uh, quite some time to get all the air out of this uh, cylinder. If you'll do that, then it'll be so much easier to complete the job at the end. Uh, after you get this assembly up inside there, I wish, to, uh, well, see, I'm holding a phone here, but anyway, I can maneuver it in there, get it up inside there, and what I do to get that line hooked up, see, I've already got the pin started, the little row pin uh, started in the master cylinder. I've learned this over the years. It's a little trick. Getting it started in the master cylinder, I've barely got it tapped in there, and then I'll go up in here and get everything up inside the firewall then I'll tilt down I'll tilt the cylinder over and also the line I will tilt it over and simply uh, get it all lined up and I'll just tap that dial pin right down there on it you know over the years I've learned little shortcuts that work fine and, and look I'm, I'm fixing to get this thing uh, push through the firewall then I'll get this line uh, this line pushed up into the cavity here and I'll just tap on that pin and no big deal 
I wish I could do a video and show you, but I'll try to do another video and, and show you how I complete the job. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to try to help you out, and if you have any questions, uh, just let me know, and, and thanks for watching. Okay.